but the idea of a public trial is that the public can come into the courtroom. At least that's my understanding of the law. And please don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody wants to see how well our district courts work, they can simply drive down and sit in the back. This is reality TV, and that's all it is. Thank you. All rise. Ramsey County District Court is now in session. The Honorable Jennifer L. Frisch now presiding. Thank you. Please be seated, everyone. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have a full house today, so if people start coming in, if all of you could accommodate other members of the public by moving as close in to create space for people, I really appreciate it, okay? implicit in the notion that the entire purpose of a public trial is, is not some arbitrary limit about the size of a courtroom. That, to, to a large extent, a brick-and-mortar courtroom uh, was the only existing way in which, it, which a court could have occurred. Brick-and-mortar has gone the way of, of, of the digital way in which people relate to various things that were done with physical presence today. People, people communicate the public accesses uh, virtually everything it does today on an unprecedented, unprecedented scale with the development of technology. A, a courtroom with brick and mortar was a technology, required brick and mortar. Driving it wasn't a, a technology, it was a space where the public trial was to be held, where the public can come and attend. If your argument has merit, it seems to me that, that a, a con the constitutional right expands every time there's some new technology. So if there's holographic technology, then where you can project images of everyone in the courtroom, um, it, 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 that every defendant then, as soon as that technology um, it hits, the, uh, uh, hits the opportunity, there's a constitutional right, not just, a, not just technology, not just a matter of convenience, but a right. The, the, the purpose of the right is, is to make what happens inside of a courtroom accessible to the public. And, and there is, I don't think there's any rational argument that somehow excluding a camera for a court, from a courtroom serves the purpose. In fact, I think the argument we've made that more access to the courtroom, more light upon what happens, furthers the purpose of the public trial, which is to allow the people who vote for judges, the people who are interested in fashioning public policy, the people that live in a democracy and are ultimately responsible for electing and recalling those who don't serve their will are better served if they have more access to it.